Okay, so now we're going to actually start measuring with the Z-Cat. Um, but the first thing we need to do is, is doing a, a simple alignment because the gauge out of the box and anytime you first turn it on is going to be in what I would call machine coordinates. We need to put it in part coordinates. So I'm going to do that by creating a simple alignment on the part. That'll be three points on a plane, two points on a line, and one point for a datum. Um, using Control Cat, that's the simplest way to do it. And if you look at the session that we have here, there's actually 40 locations for icons on this screen. There's one of them is taken up, it's fixed, and it's the alignment. And if you can see closely, there's actually a padlock that's unlocked. Um, on our menu, we have uh, quite a few choices here. On the A menu, the first choice is aligning, is alignment. So if I touch that, it will highlight it. And when I touch the check mark or the enter key, it will now bring up another screen telling me I'm going to do an alignment. You need to take six points. So far, I haven't taken any points. And this is the probe I'm using. And this is my if I have a go-to point. Now, I can just toggle that probe between horizontal and vertical just by touching it, but I'm going to leave it on vertical because that's what I'm going to use here. So the six points, again, will be the three points on the plane, two points on the line, one point on a circle. So I'm going to physically and manually come down here and touch three points on that plane. And I'm going to touch, and I did that in a counterclockwise motion. There's a reason for that. I'm going to take the points on the line. I'm going to do that left to right. There's a reason for that. And then I'm going to take one point on this surface over here. So in essence, the datum will be where that plane, this line, and that point line up or right in this corner will be my zero datum. I've taken six points on my screen. And I'll hit Enter. My alignment key is flashing that's active. So while that's flashing, I'm going to touch anywhere in the screen and it will move that alignment up into my screen. And you'll see it says alignment one. Before when we told it to number them, this is alignment number one. Now to actually run that alignment, I'll highlight it again by touching it and I'll highlight and I'll hit the check. Now the ZCAT will now go under DCC and take those same exact points only under computer control. It now, the reason I did the plane in a counterclockwise, that tells it that my z-axis is going to be positive going up. I did left to right on my line. That tells me my x-axis is going to be left to right. So now that it's done that, you'll notice the alignment is flashing. While that's active, if I just were to touch my alignment fixed alignment key, that paddle lock locks, and now it's in part coordinates. So now everything I do from this point forward will be based on that alignment that I did, knowing that that part is sitting exactly in that location. Thank you,